When you go Bob, you go quality. Go Bob Pipe and Steel. You know at Go Bob, we have some very good people that can help you design your fence, design your corral, and we've got everything that you need to do it with. But you know what's most important when you're building a fence or a corral is that you do it right the first time. If you do it right the first time, ultimately you're going to save a lot of money. One of the things that we offer are some pre-made uh, H-braces like this one I'm standing next to. We also have H-braces that have a kicker on them. A lot of people use this when they're using cable fence where they or barbed wire fence where they need to stretch the wire and they need a break. But one of the most important things with any fence is that you need a gate. And Go Bob, we make the finest gates for livestock that you can buy. And I want to point out a couple things that you may or may not have noticed when you've purchased gates in the past. A lot of people, the, the hinge will be something that bolts on instead of actually being part of the gate. As you can see, this, these hinges are put on when the gate is being manufactured. So it is, it is really stout. And all you have to do is weld the hinge flap to your gate post. And we also make a version of this that if you have a wooden post, it has a 12 inch all thread hinge on it and it comes with two nuts and two washers. But let me, let me talk about gate construction for a minute. First of all, most of the gates you get down at the feed store, uh, if you're lucky, they're 16 gauge more than likely they're going to be 18 or 20 gauge, something very light. That's why you see a lot of people with bent up gates. But we're going to use Schedule 10 pipe on anything that's vertical. We're going to use 14 gauge pipe on anything that's horizontal. But notice the way that it's put together. Some gate manufacturers will flatten the end of this and they butt it up there. And the reason they do that is because it's fast and easy to weld. Just zip, zip, and they're done. But there's no strength to it. If you don't believe me, take a, take a pop can and smash it in the middle and see how easy it is to bend back and forth. Same thing's going on when you buy a gate that's built like this. Every Go Bob gate, every piece of pipe is saddled to match the pipe perfectly, and we weld it 360 degrees. Notice the center of the gate, center stays. I can go down to the feed store and I can see varieties. I can see a flat piece of metal that's got holes punched in it and maybe the pipe going through it doesn't even touch it. So what good's that doing? Or I can see some that have uh, just a little flat strip welded on the front. You know, for a gate, you need something stronger than that. So each piece is coped and saddled to fit the pipe and then weld at 360 degrees. Let's hear from another satisfied Go Bob Pipe and Steel customer. I purchased 10 gates ranging from 12 foot to 20 foot. I found them to be the best gates I've ever purchased. They have absolutely no sag at all, and I'm very pleased with them, and some of my neighbors are planning to order real soon. Thanks for gates that a country boy can afford and the quality they have. I'm sure you've seen your neighbors, and they've got a junk pile. And one of the things laying in that junk pile are some bent up or rusted out gates. You know, you don't want to replace this gate every five years. You want a gate that's going to be there as long as you are. And ultimately, that, that's the most economical way to go. I mean, that, it just makes sense. So whenever we built this gate or we build anything that goes in your fence, we keep that in mind. We want you to do it right the first time and never have to worry about it again. When you go by, you go quality.